It's the most yes, that's right, partners. Holiday match season is back. Hi, I'm Stu. Did you know that since 1986, over $16 million has been donated to local children's charities through the Stewart Shops Corporation Holiday Match Program? Last year, Stewart Shops, along with its generous customer base, helped donate over $1.3 million to local children's charities. And despite our tough economy, we've got to beat that number. Remember, partners, this isn't just a month-long promotion. Holiday Match directly benefits school-aged children in your communities. I personally have been working for Stewart Shops for over 10 years. Back in 2005, the team at my shop decided to really get excited about Holiday Match and strive for some record numbers. And by using just a few simple techniques, we were able to substantially grow the Holiday Match intake for that year. In fact, in two of these shops, their Holiday Match intake upon utilizing this program grew a whopping 75% over the previous year. In 2007, one of our shops even made the top 10 list for Thanksgiving week collections. Oh yeah. But don't just take my word for it. Let's ask some partners how they grew their holiday match numbers at their shops. We have a big Wednesday meeting and you know we decorate the whole shop to, to kick off holiday match season. It's the fun time of the year. It's holiday match time. Decorating is a surefire way to get your customers in the holiday spirit. And when they're in the holiday spirit, they'll usually give more. Of course, only a complete wacko would do something this elaborate. Like I said, and you guys have fun dressing up as well, right? Oh, we have fun all day long anyway, so they know this place is about fun. Um, dude, do I seriously have to wear this? To ensure everyone continues having fun, make sure costumes are optional. Would you like to make a donation, change anything, whatever your donation? Really? Stuart doubles my donation. Sure. Thanks. I don't like to ask for, uh, would you like to donate your, your change, because then you'll probably only get, get the change part of the donation, so I'll just say, whatever you like to donate, you can donate, it doesn't matter how much, and then I usually get five dollars or more. Excellent! I know someone who has a good chance of meeting their goal this year. Yup, it's great to be excited about Holiday Match, but sometimes we get a little overexcited and find the word no just a bit hard to swallow. Would you like to donate your change to the Holiday Match, ma'am? No, that's okay. Thanks. I am never shopping here again. That was definitely not the right way to handle rejection. Regardless of our individual opinions, these are still our customers. These people pay our paychecks, and many of them, when angered, will go shop someplace else. And some of them will be less than polite in their response to you asking for money. But regardless, you still give them the same treatment as you would any other customer. Would you like to donate your change to the holiday match, ma'am? No, that's okay. Thanks. No problem. If you change your mind, don't forget the charity runs all the way through Christmas. Thank you for shopping at Stewart's. Bye. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Also, for anyone who is not sure about donating or has any questions about the program, make sure you give them a holiday match pamphlet. Keep your charity sales pitch simple and try not to hold up the line because your shops are usually busy this time of year. Also, you'll notice a continual push on Holiday Match by our media partners and of course on the Stewart's television infomercial. However, our advertisers don't directly interact with the customer. You, on the other hand, do. So it's ultimately your job to convince customers to double their donation with Holiday Match. We challenge the customers. I say, you know, this other customer came in and gave us five bucks. You're going to let him uh, trump you for the... Uh highest holiday match contribution. You're going to see a lot of your regulars in the store and a lot of the regulars, you know, you can say, well, so-and-so gave five bucks, can you beat them? You know, they'll, they'll rise to the challenge. And I also understand your store manager takes a personal stake in helping you reach your goals. One year we beat our goal, he had to shave his head. One year he had to paint his head blue or something like that. That gets nice. the customers going if they know that if they give uh, over like three grand, uh, Mark has to shave his beard or whatever, you know, they'll get into that. Keep it interesting and make sure your customer always knows that you're trying to hit a goal. And make sure you have enough visual aids on hand so that your customer will be well aware of your holiday match goal long before they ever reach the cash register. And make it a point to remind your customer that Stewart's matches all in-shop donations and that now one red cent goes to administrative costs. Wow. 
you guys are trying to beat that store. They raked in almost five grand last year. Yep. A manager's throwing us a pizza party if we beat him. It's nice your boss would do that for you. I think I will throw in another five bucks. It's all about perception. The more you care, the more your customers will. Try visibly competing against other partners, other shops, other districts, or even other clusters to see who can pull in the most money for holiday match. And lastly, keep a dry erase board visible in your customer area and consistently update it with your holiday match totals for the year just to keep everyone excited. And now for the part of the holiday season that no one likes to discuss, but everyone has to endure. Okay, and three bucks is your change. Would you like to make a donation to Holiday Match to benefit local children's charities? No thanks. Okay, thanks for shopping at Stewart's. I'm never gonna get this pack count on. Hey! He's stealing the bucket! The three words that best describe you are as follows, and I quote, Stink, Stank, Stunk. During the holiday season, people usually spend more money than they have. Most people that come in here are decent, but you always get a few who are tempted by that jar of money sitting on the counter. And when they steal from the holiday match, they're not only ripping off local children's charities, they're also ruining your credibility. So we came up with a few easy methods to protect the customer's investment. Notice here that we have the entire jar covered in bells. That way, if anybody touches it, you're going to be able to hear it. We also hung bells inside the jar so that if anyone sticks their hand in, they won't be able to pull their hand out without making a lot of noise. We also don't put any bells on any decorations except on the jars so that when our crew hears bells, they come running. In order to avoid a bucket getting stolen, it's best to invest in some small chains or some polytwine to tie that bucket down so that the next time someone tries to grab it and run for the door, they end up flat on their back on the floor. And finally, make sure you're doing holiday match deposits at least twice a day, if not more so. The best times are normally before a cash check, at the end of your shift, anytime someone throws anything larger than a $5 bill in the bucket, or anytime it looks like it's getting full. And of course, never leave cash unattended. Be sure to discuss your shop's holiday match procedures with your manager or district manager. And remember that customers who believe their money is secure with us will usually donate more. We hope this video helps you run a successful holiday match program. And from all of us at Stewart Shops, have a safe, prosperous, and happy holiday match season.